Hi, everyone, and welcome. We've put together a series of Crypto 101 for those who think they know about digital assets. But do you really? How well do you know about them? This is a question, and we'll find out today. So we'll do a fun and rapid fire round with myself, Amélie Arras, and two of my friends, Gareth and Robert. So I'll start to introduce myself. My name is Amélie and I've traveled around uh, with cryptocurrency. So come on guys, you've got 10 seconds to introduce yourself. Let's go. Robert, start with you. My name is Robert Courtney, uh, a specialist lawyer in payments for over 30 years. Kicked off my career at Citibank, then went into private practice. Uh, but for the last few years, I've been consulting into the payments industry uh, and looking specifically at applications of blockchain, cryptocurrency, stablecoins, CBDCs, etc. That's awesome. Come on, Gareth, your turn. My name's Gareth. I happen to be an account executive in Salesforce. I've been here for over eight years. Um, but longer than that, I've been a crypto enthusiast who's done courses, read books and attended conference. And I'm very passionate about it. DeFi, offering access to financial products that banks fail to provide to my generation. The future of how things like DeFi come through, um, the ability to decentralize so many things um, using the uh, sort of uh, DLT blockchain. I think that is going to be an exciting future. Uh, and equally, I think the whole area of stablecoins, CBCCs, uh, and how that can influence the future of payments is going to be very exciting. Global transfers. The FX market is worth about $6.6 .6 trillion every day, um, significantly greater than all the global GDPs combined. So thinking about transfers and remittance, a huge amount can be done here. Elon Musk. A uh, government hard intervention uh, where a particular government doesn't see that it is, is working out well for them as a country or something, and then they just step in. Crypto was plagued by greedy scams, questionable ICOs, and, and this undoubtedly has tarnished the industry a little bit. Far too many people trying to make a quick buck and doing uh, distrusting activities. Ethereum for me, there's so much more application to it. I would actually look at Cardano, uh, and that's more because of the, the fuel situation. I think the, the, the cost of uh, transactions in both Bitcoin and Ethereum has gone up uh, to a large extent and is causing difficulties in those platforms. I think they're going to need to sort those out. Uh, so at the moment, Cardano seems to be the new player in the block that people are creating tokens from. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, simple, immutable and sovereign. DeFi all the way because you can get uh, up to 10% uh, on your crypto compared into a saving account. DeFi is very much a, a means of managing uh, what the current situation where you're trying to invest in uh, goods, services, companies, assets uh, is being uh, completely overhauled by the use of DeFi, which is a, an exciting. So I would go for DeFi on that one. DeFi. It's reimagining financial products and the entire industry.